In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I went from broke to having a full-time music career in 2023. So I wanna share with you my story so that you can feel inspired and know that it is actually possible to make it. So let's dive in. So here's how I started everything. In quarter four of 2022, so around November of 2022, was when I started building my program, which is called Rapid Fire Music Academy, which is an online academy of how I teach music artists how to produce their own music in 90 days. So I started building that out. After doing my own music for a long time, I realized it was a transformation I could help other artists see. So started build, building that out, hired a one-on-one -on -one coach, and got that pretty much finished up in January. In January of 2023 was when I launched everything. But the problem was I had gone so far into credit card debt, I was at 95% utilization. That means I used 95% of my credit card and or my credit cards, and I was at $25,000 in credit card debt, and I was making $2,000 a month. So tough times, a little bit. I was like, damn, I'm kind of trying to figure this out. I have no money for ads. I don't even really know how I would run ads for this. Even though I've been running ads, I don't know how I would do it for this. And I, yeah, it was like, I was just stuck. My wife was like, hey, you should probably go get a job. Like you're not making that much money with your side hustles. So I went and got a job at a coffee shop called Rooted. And I kept trying to hire coaches and Honestly, every coach that I worked with had something really valuable to share with me. And I did learn a lot from every single one of the mentors I worked with this year. I just didn't get exactly what I needed from everybody. And I didn't really have that much money for ad spend until I started working at the coffee shop. But even then, I didn't know how to do it. So, you know, I was still making music and creating music, but I felt stuck because I wasn't making money. So eventually I was like, damn, like, how do I do this? Like, how do I make this all happen? Right. So, First six months of the year of 2023, I was working seven days a week. I took, I think, I don't remember the exact number, but I think I took nine or 10 days off total in the first six months, which even then was a lot kind of, um, but I didn't get a lot of days off. I was just grinding and grinding and grinding and it was tough. And honestly, I didn't know how I was gonna make it, but I knew I was going to. I knew I was gonna get this all figured out. My wife was super supportive. She knew what I was doing. She completely understood that I needed to just grind, honestly. So, but then a breakthrough happened, right? Then a, then a really nice breakthrough happened. And at this point with my music business, I was making somewhere between 500 and 1500 a month. So I got clients here and there, all organic. So I wasn't using paid ads. I didn't know how to, I knew how to run paid ads, but I didn't know how I was going to do it for this business. So I was really just sending cold DMs, trying Facebook groups, so many, so many different things. And uh, was just trying to get everything off the ground because I knew that I wanted to, I wanted to build this like mentorship program in this business, but I wanted to do it with music. Like I didn't want to go do something else. I didn't, I just wanted to do it with music. I knew that I wanted to wake up every day, make music and help other people with their music. That's all I knew. And I wanted to serve people and I wanted to like get my music off the ground and just, just have the life that I wanted. So after these struggles, after like six months of like not really gaining momentum and just grinding and grinding and grinding, I hit a breakthrough moment. And that breakthrough was when I found the right person to help me, right, named Jeremy. I talk about him a lot on my YouTube, um, on Instagram, but I'll share with you kind of exactly how that all went. So I was working with a different coach, actually, who I was spending around a 1000 a month with them. And even though I was working with a coach and paying them and doing everything in their program, I still was on YouTube searching for answers, searching for questions which had me thinking, I was like, I need to get this figured out. If I'm currently working with a coach and I'm still on YouTube trying to figure something out, that means something's not going right. So I was on YouTube searching and I ended up finding the, the person I'm working with. I ended up finding Jeremy, watched a couple of videos, booked a call with him. And then when we got on our call for me to figure out if I was gonna join his program, it was just too expensive at the time for me. It wasn't too expensive, it was that I couldn't afford it. So I was like, look, man, I'm sorry. Like, I just can't afford it. Here's where I'm at, right? And we were both kind of disappointed because we were both like kind of vibing, looking forward to working with each other. And he did something that changed my life forever. He said, man, let me just give you some free value right now, right? Maybe you can take some of what I can teach you right now and you can take it and run with it and see what happens. It was almost like he was throwing a Hail Mary. And I was like, bro, that'd be amazing. So he gave me a couple of tips. And with those tips, for free that he gave me on a, on a call, which was really supposed to be like an enrollment sales call, 
I ended up landing my first ever paid in full client. That means that I had a client pay me the full amount for my program right then and there on one call. Now I had been doing high ticket closing beforehand and I'd had people pay me a lot of money, but it wasn't my money. It was the, cl the company I was working for. This was the first time I had someone pay me that much money in one amount of time. And I was like, damn. And this all happened from the free advice that I got from Jeremy while I was working with another coach while I was paying that really didn't get me anything. So I went crazy and I was like, damn, this is amazing. This is my breakthrough moment. I just made basically the same amount of money in one call that I do with all my part-time jobs combined. It's crazy. And so I was so hyped that I ended up making my song, Summit, which I just dropped. And if you wanna go check that song out, you can click below and go listen to it. But I literally, I was so fucking hyped that I was like, dude, I'm gonna make a song today. And I went and literally made the beat, wrote the lyrics and recorded the vocals all right here in my home studio. And I was just so hyped. And I sent him, I sent Jeremy a message. I took my wife out to dinner that night, uh, sent, sent Jeremy a message, told him what happened. And he ended up sending me like a selfie video back of him saying like how happy he was for me, how proud he was of me. And I used the audio from that, put it in the end of the song Summit. And basically from there, I just kept the momentum rocking and rolling until I got to the point where about mm, a month or so later, I made more money from music than I did from the three part-time jobs combined. And I was able to quit all of those and go full in on building my music business. And so, the, and, and, and since then, I've been able to do some big things and I've been able to, you know, honestly make a lot of money, but helping people doing what I want to do. And you might not be building a coaching business right now. Like you might be watching this. You might say, hey, Lee, look, I'm not, I'm not building a coaching business like you. I'm not trying to do that. I want to be an artist. I want to sell my music. Or you might be watching this and you might be like, look, I'm, I'm actually producing and I want to learn how to make a business out of producing music. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You might be trying to build a personal brand. You might not even be a musician at all watching this right now. And, you know, you might, you might, you, you would still get, you should still be able to get something out of the story because at the end of the day, the story isn't about, it's not even a music story. It's 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 the story of the come up. It's the come up story. It's went from two grand a month, 25,000 in credit card debt. Then I had to work three part-time jobs, had no way of getting my business out there, ended up finding the right person, the right mentor, and then got my business off the ground. And now it's at a point where I don't work and I'll never have to work for the rest of my life. And I get to wake up every single day with a purpose, excite not always excited, but like most days I'm pretty hyped and excited. Some days I, I don't want to, some days are better than others. Uh, but I, I, I wake up every day and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm about to go do something great today. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be great. I don't have to go to school, right? I don't have to go back to class. I don't have to go to a job I hate. I don't have to answer to anybody. I don't have to commute. That's a big thing. I don't have to get in the car and drive or get on the train and the bus. Like I get to, I'm right here. I live where I'm working right now. I live here where I'm doing all this. And the reason I did it was because I had that breakthrough moment where I found the right person to work with to help me with my goals. And so I hope you can take inspiration and value from this video. And I hope that it helps you take action in your life because you might be in the place right now where you're stuck and you're right before that breakthrough moment. You might be in that place right now where you're 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 like, you're like, you know, you feel stuck, but you're still moving and you still, uh, you see the light and you're like, I know it's there. I see it. I can go. I can almost reach that thing. Just keep reaching. Keep reaching. I'm not trying to sound corny or any of that. I'm really being honest. Continue to reach and grab it. Go get it because it's right. It's right there. It really is right there for you. It's sometimes it's one little thing or one person or one piece of advice or it's or it's a combination of all of those things that you can put together and make something beautiful grow. So hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.